everyone, and welcome to the <laughs> Flirting with Travel podcast. I'm Misty. I'm Lexi. I'm Dion Bay, joining y'all. And today we will be going over who Dion Bay is to us, her packing tips, her hair woes. Uh, we hope you enjoy. On today's episode, we have our sister, Dion Bay. Hello, guys. Um, and she travels like we all travel because we are a traveling family. And kind of what we're going to do is just introduce you because we reference you a lot. Okay. And, um, In all good ways, I hope. Obviously. Loving. Side eye. Mm. But, okay, so you are a... <laughs> so rude. So rude. <laughs> Didn't even I don't even know where we'll start. We'll start with, you are an expat as well. I am. Yes. You live? Where do you live? So I currently live in Nassau, Bahamas. Mm -hmm. Um, I commute to work in Florida, um, Orlando, Sanford area. And I go back and forth. And uh, every now and again, I'll hop on over to Las Vegas. So So that's that's a lot. Round away. So you had to like come up with how many miles you fly a year. (sighs) Minus work. I, oh, minus work. Mm. Well, no, let's do including work. Okay, let's include work. You don't think so? I mean, caveat, she's a flight attendant. Per so year, would I would have to say it might approach the hundreds of thousands with work. Mm-hmm. Without work, I would say I'm safely in the tens of thousands. It's like yeah. tens of, or 15 or like... Um, <laughs> I'd say 15 to 20. Okay. So, Remember? that's okay. That's a good, that's a good yeah. number. Yeah. You'd probably fly more than that because just a flight to Las Vegas round trip is going to be... In miles, I don't know. Like, I calculate my trips in hours, so, like, I couldn't even... So that number was hours, not miles? No, no, no. That number oh. was miles. Okay. I think it's probably higher, but... Don't stunt on me. I mean, but who knows? Who's actually calculating miles? If someone exactly. had asked me, like, how many miles do you fly a year? No idea, because I, would, I don't have a membership. You have to that. go and research. Like, I wouldn't have even... I know I've flown a lot. It might be under the hundreds of thousands, but, like... Who knows? I count. How long am I trapped on this plane with these people? I'm assuming Misty knows exactly how many. I mean, probably she logs it or Qatar logs it for her. Who logs it for you? Qatar. That comes with the platinum, double platinum, gold, silver, (laughs) platinum. Did I say platinum? Did I say? (laughs) Did I mention? (laughs) That you got No, I mean, but okay. So you don't have, well, I'm going to just touch on the subject side because these are really good points. So are you a loyalty member for any airline? Um, I am not, but my wife is, so I have numbers, and when we do buy tickets, then I will use my number, um, for, like, American, um, Mm -hmm. JetBlue, I love them, I use them all the time, Mm -hmm. but the credit card, and with Barclay, oh, they, like, (laughs) fucked us over, so it's, like, would not do that credit card, just personally, on our experience. Right. However, um, you know, we have the American card, Southwest, um, and then American Express, how can you beat them? American Express? Uh-huh. Oh, you can't. You can't. If yeah. I have a favorite card, it would be my American Express card. So I'm not myself personally. My loyalty points are low because I fly for free or just for taxes. But Sam's loyalty points, my God. Yeah, she flies. <laughs> yeah. She's like you in the bougie area. Well, you, I'm pretty sure as a perk of being married to her, you get the same bougie treatment. Oh, no, she'll leave me in a uh, regular <laughs> class and take her ass on up to first class. Will she? She, yeah, okay. But in her defense, she did say one time, like, a couple times, like, take my first class ticket. And I'm like, no, because you have to go back and work. I'm going back. I have, like, a day to recover and just lay around. You have to go roll right into work. But she Can has left me. Can we have a whole conversation on that? Yes. We, I said if someone decided to leave me back, I was like, That'd be fine, but we what? hear about it later. Because let's talk about the time when I had a uh, global entry and you hadn't gotten it yet, and I took off in L.A., and I was, like, outside waiting for you, and you are like, this person was getting deported, and you left me. And I'm like, Lexi, you're going to walk faster. You're like, I got this backpack on. You know she got those little legs, and she was, like, trying. No, because I was behind <laughs> someone getting deported, and she's just <laughs> in front of the line, like, <laughs> I, I was, was like, not you, doing that. You sure were? You're I, like, was, I was patiently waiting. No, you weren't. We've I talked about was. this consistently for like 16 episodes at this point of oh, how okay. you left her. No, this is not what happened. She I, felt abandoned. I did leave her, yes. 
However, I patiently waited for her, and I was just trying to facilitate um, a quicker... What, the, de the deportation? <laughs> Did you say just well, drag the lady off so she can come on down? Because LAX, you know you have to take a, um, a tram or a little bus to like each right. terminal. We missed one flight, so we had to get back on the tram to another terminal. It was a shit show. But I'm like, you know, this is what happens. You look back at Lexi, smoke's coming out of her ears, <laughs> like daggers out of her eyes. It was a whole thing. I was like, it was exhausting. well, no, shit. That was the first time she'd left me, though. That's when she <laughs> left me for Global Entry. But also, she had pre-check at the time that I did not. So she mm. left me there and was waiting on the other side while I'm I like did. getting dressed again. She's like, <laughs> oh, go ahead and get dressed. And I'm like... I'm trying to help her out by like taking her bags. She's like, "Don't touch my shit." I was like, "I'm sorry," but Lexi does like to be in the airport in like perks. laced up boots. But I know that you guys wanted to talk about um, perks of a flight attendant. So mm. one of the things, if you're not going internationally, you can. Um, we have KCM. Uh -huh. um, it's known crew member. That's only for flight attendants. Mm -hmm. So you have to show like multiple IDs, mm -hmm. and you can walk through. So. Um, I don't have to take off my shoes, and I don't have to take off all of this stuff. And every now and again, like the regular folk, there are <laughs> random screenings, and you have to go through, take your shoes off, do all this stuff. Um, I will leave people. I will meet you on the other oh, side. Oh, many a time she's done this. I can't take your bags with me, but I can help <laughs> you pick them up off the belt. And, and then leave you. No, after they've oh, gone through. You come through. Yeah, I come on the other side, and I'm waiting, you know, patiently, like... I like that you're picking our bag up off the belt, like, we're not going to be right through at that point. <laughs> that means well, I made thought, it to the front. You might have to do a whole bunch of other stuff, and, like, you, you were going through it. And so I was just trying to be there for you. I'm here. You know what made me laugh? When we went through Atlanta, it was you, me, and Sam... And this is, again, before I had pre-check when I was still regular as <laughs> Wish hell. Wish it was basic. And so Diambi's like, oh, crew. I'm going through the uh, crew line. Sam's like, oh, I've got clear and pre-check. I'm going <laughs> to go through this line. I was like, and mind you, these lines aren't near each other. No, they're not. You walk very far oh, yeah. to get to the three separate areas. So I was like, well, I guess I'm Atlanta on my does own. have very, they have... The regular line, then they have the clear line, then they have the clear pre-check line, and mm -hmm. then they have the TSA pre-check line. I was like, I feel That's like that in so Miami normal. Too. Miami's like, airport is trash. never more normal and not in a good well, way. Well, and then you got your life together, and I was really proud of you. You know, I told all my friends. I won't be left again, except when she goes through the crew line. I, listen, still. I will take advantage of that at every point in time. When I have to be like a regular folk... <laughs> Oh, my God. I do want to give a tip, though. though. TSA PreCheck mm -hmm. can be purchased and Global Entry can be purchased. But it's free with a lot of different credit cards. So I just want to plug those credit cards. Uh, Chase Sapphire Preferred will give it to you free. Once they see that name come up, they'll give you the credit back. The American Express Platinum and Gold and Business Card will give it to you back. The Chase Inc. Business Card will give it to you back. Capital One does not. Um, do you have all these cards? I have a lot of cards. I was travel hacking for a long time. Trying you know, to... Chase is underrated, but they do have a lot of really good perks on their cards. Mm -hmm. They have a lot um, of good benefits. And we have a, a Chase account as well. Because so. American is with Chase. Oh, are they? So the American Airlines card oh. will give it to you back. Oh, and okay. the Frontier, United Frontier, whatever, will give it to you back. So if you guys go through and apply for it. Yeah. You'll get the $100 back, and it's totally worthwhile. You just have to do an interview. You know what, piggybacking off of that, like the loyalty programs that mm. you were talking about, mm. those are so important because you yeah. get miles, you get points for every dollar you spend when you use that card. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And American Southwest and um, American Express do not have, uh, what are those, the overseas fees? Oh, international the transaction international fees. international transaction yeah. fees. They do so not serious. have that. So oh, nice. if I do break down and I have to use that card or use <laughs> a card, I will use that. This is true. Yeah. Those are very, it's all very important. So, I mean, if, as a family, when you travel together, you really should all be on the same. You know, you should, but I've seen them leave their son. They're going oh, through, they have global entry, and they're like, hey, yo, <laughs> you better go ahead and download the mobile mobile." Passport. But you know, they're, mobile getting, passport, yes. they're getting rid of mobile passport. Are they? Yeah, because Atlanta got free. rid of it. 
I don't know why they're so making they still me pay for global entry and giving someone else the same perks for free. You better get yeah. rid of it. They still oh. have the kiosk, but they don't do mobile passport anymore. Yeah, no, we made him. Um, I think he's applying for. He either has it or applied for global entry. So another. That's another thing. Like if you travel or you're beginning to travel a lot, mm-hmm. I would certainly say get those. Um, get join those programs mm-hmm. because it just makes getting through the line that much easier. I still, you, Lexi's made fun of me, but I get to the airport, like, super early. But I just, I do not want to get stuck in line and, you know, like, snap on people because I didn't plan accordingly. For all the benefits you have, I like that you (laughs) still get there, like, three hours early for a one-hour flight. I did that for, well, okay. International or domestic? Domestic, miss. Both. You get there three hours early for a domestic? I three hours early. Okay. No, Lexi's exaggerating. Like, she gets you know there how she does. so early. So though. if you online check in and have a carry-on bag, you just need to show up to the airport like But you never know what TSA is going to be like. And unless you're checking mm-hmm. TSA's website to see what wait times are like, I don't think it's... And you I check don't their do website that. for no. wait times? No, I'm clear and pre-check, so mm-hmm. no. No, I'm not like this. Oh, but I thought we were literally just speaking on like how... Okay, so how we travel... If you online check in, yeah. carry on your bag, mm-hmm. and have clear, mm-hmm. you don't need to get to the airport more than yeah. 15 minutes ahead of time. Because you, you need can whip through. to know your airport. Yes. Um, I know how much time I need to, like when I leave uh, Bahamas, when I'm mm-hmm. coming to work, I, um, I leave on a weekday, a Tuesday or a Wednesday, so the airport is pretty much dead. Who is flying midweek? But I, Especially my, unless, in, and if it's not show. in the morning, you're yeah. right, because all the morning flights are business flights after that, it's dead. But even still with, like, the morning flights. Really? So I have, like, JetBlue has a direct flight into Orlando, and I take them, and they're at, like, 10 in the morning mm-hmm. going out of Nassau. Going into Nassau, they're um, at 7 in the morning. Mm-hmm. Now, Orlando, I know how their TSA works, and it's nuts uh-huh. Get there three hours early because it's really? going to take you that long to get through. I'm trying so, to yeah, that. so I most of the time will catch my flights because people, you know, uh, oh, underestimated it. and they don't have clear. Flight. They don't have clear. They were going through the regular folk line. You know what? You can't. It's so okay you if you're are... regular folk. But if you want ease of travel, I'm get telling you, get those programs. Yeah. Or even CSA programs. pre-check, though, now the lines are long. Because they just randomly will give it out and people don't understand what it means. And so they're like still asking, do I need to take, take my belt off? off? Do I need to take yeah. my yes. shoes off? I have no problem jumping in front of a person who is <laughs> taking a long time and pushing my stuff through. And they might look at me, but hey, you're taking forever. I'm supposed to wait on you. So how do you do that when you have, you're at the, like those, um, the little baggage things that have like the preset spaces and you have to pull the tray out to push it on? Oh, you can't really are, jump in front of those. Those people. are a little different. Let me yeah. tell you, the only time I've seen that has been in Canada and Atlanta. No, New York has them. Uh, I avoid. Oh, JFK does have it. Yeah. Listen, yeah. I avoid New York like the plague. If I'm going there, I just I know that I have mm-hmm. three days to waste and be stuck because <laughs> every time I've gone to New York, it has just been really hell. I hate oh. it. You know what? On American, yes, but through JetBlue, I've always made my flights. I if if possible we'll skip right over that yeah i will find anywhere else to go well, but new york let me so tell you, you where you a... never want to go where o'hare you will never make a flight out of o'hare charlotte <laughs> Freaking yeah. charlotte i now knock on wood i have been lucky but mm-hmm. charlotte is a hub um a major hub for american and they send a lot of people through um training yes. and their headquarters and whatnot mm-hmm. and they connect on flights through charlotte yes. so just a, a tip for anybody going through charlotte just be ready for that. You will miss your flight if you're non-revving. Yeah. I am a um I am a, a one world member and in the States I should fly American, but I hate Charlotte. I'm not gonna Char- hike through there. But Charlotte yeah. has the minute suites. You can go if you have a long layover or like oh, a three hour layover, you can go over there and sleep. <laughs> Let me tell you how I've missed out on that. They I'll have a minute up. suites here too. In Las Vegas. Yes, oh, see, in the D, it's in the oh. detour oh. terminal. But Centurion lounges are full a lot of times. You I'm like, what? are you guys just giving this benefit to everybody? I know. I c- okay, so this this might make me sound a little bit elitist and bougie like you, um, but I'm oh, going to say it. So yes, shade, fan snap. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I I feel like American Express Platinum members mm-hmm. should have a section. For themselves, Listen, how dare I pay upwards of five hundred dollars? No, it's, it's five hundred and fifty a yeah, year annual per fee. year, 
and yeah. I don't have a seat. I want to kick every last one. I of you literally mofos. thought the Centurion Lounge was only for platinum and those types of members. Oh no, you can get a uh, like a day pass, can't you? I you bet I think the you hell can buy a day pass. Shooting. It's a little yeah. it's a little expensive. Twenty six dollars. No, so yeah. if you do that, you have to buy the year membership where you're still pen- spending like three hundred dollars for a year's membership. Then you can get the day pass for twenty six dollars. Oh, you just yeah. try and buy that outright. It's like sixty dollars. I know because I was stuck in an airport and I thought I'm just gonna do this, and then I realized <laughs> no, nah, I'm not gonna do this. Nah. I can sit on these regular ass chairs yes. with my backpack. But sure because did. you guys non rev, mm-hmm. I don't understand why I'm not gonna get away from you. But I don't understand why you don't go get a Chase Sapphire Preferred card or an American Express Platinum Gold because mm-hmm. gold is only two ninety five a year. It comes with priority pass. For free. And that gets you into like 1,700 different... So that's the difference. When I'm non-revving, I get to the airport for my flight. And then say you don't make that flight, now you're running Mm -hmm. back and forth. So like when I tried to take, uh, what was it, United going into O'Hare, and I didn't realize that United is based in Chicago. (laughs) That's a real... Mm -hmm. That was an eye-opener. Yeah. yeah. That and, and the so, weather. <laughs> so I couldn't make it on my first flight, and I was like, well, I could wait till the next flight. And I thought, no, let's go ahead and run from Terminal 3 to Terminal 1 in Las Vegas over to Southwest. So literally, Ooh. we were running back and forth, bouncing between terminals, trying to figure it out. Oh, on L.A.? Uh, no, this is in Vegas. Oh, in, oh. Well, at least yeah. they have the little tunnel now. That the, yeah, it, they have yeah. the tram, so that yeah. makes it easier. It LA, way better. my God, be ready Ooh. to move. Getting between but those terminals is a mess. When we <laughs> when we went, didn't we both have backpacks? I don't think no, I. You had a rolling suitcase. Did I? Because she my back like was this. aching, and I thought, this wow, a felt. rolling suitcase would have yes. been really nice. Oh, but see, but so, she So, and then let's talk about it. Yes. Because we had a whole talk about baggage. You yes. carry a rollerboard bag. What kind of bag? Um. Okay, so I'm a, I'm a Costco member. I love my <laughs> Costco bags. I get whatever black bag. I currently have an American Tourister that is okay. kind of almost on its last leg. Mm-hmm. But if I were doing... Um, uh, a trip where I was going to be moving a lot, I would just carry a backpack because cobblestone streets, how far are you walking, mm-hmm. where are you going, you know, like how bougie am, am I going to be on this vacation? Am I going to be like, I'm going to backpack? Or am so I going to be like... do you have a backpack? That's I have true. a backpack, yes. True story. When have you ever carried a backpack, though? I carried it to Costa Rica. Um, I carried it to uh, Belize. Um, oh, so never on a vacation with us. So what kind of no. brand and how many liters? Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, how big? I want to say like, well, High Sierra. I want to say High Sierra, but I know I got it from, I don't know, but we all Is have like. Is it the blue and orange one? It's a blue, there's an orange one. I have a pink so one. So like the backpackers, backpack. backpackers backpack. Those backpackers. big ass ones oh, that come up above your head and down everything. to your knee. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's like 100 liters. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Oh, you have to have hip like flaps that. for that. Okay, and so then your roller bo- hip flaps. Oh yes, you got a lot yes. in hip flaps, chest flaps. <laughs> Those things are like padded up to high mm-hmm. heaven, but you can move. Oh, true. I mean, so yeah. So then your rollerboard is a American Tourister. My yes, my rollerboard is an American Tourister. Um, mm-hmm. I will upgrade at some point in life to um, a Tumi. Mm-hmm. Um, I've okay. So yes, bougie, but. Quality. You spend that money on that bag, that bag is lasting. You mm-hmm. have a like forever warranty. Mm-hmm. Okay. That bag fits everything. I bought that bag for Sam and it fit like this woman showed me. It was like a Willy Wonka Mary Poppins bag. <laughs> like it fit everything in there. Um but you can do um American Tourister, you can do um e bags, um oh gosh, what's that? A Travel Pro. Oh, yeah. Travel oh, Pro really? has some really quality bags travel pro travel pro yes you can go onto the website there are like flight attendant websites where you can get uh, those things from um and they uh, you can pack a whole lot but going into like the packing i i bought the e-bags um uh what are those little kits called the little separators the oh, cubes. Packing, cubes. packing cubes okay so i saw lexi when we went to atlanta with those packing cubes mm-hmm. and i was like where what am I doing with my life? Like right. Lexi travels on a whole different level, but I need to like I need to step my game up. You know I'm over here just rolling shit right. like a basic bitch. Let me get an e bag. So I bought them and uh-huh. it's a set of three, um, three different sizes. Uh-huh. I like them, but the problem is 
I'm an overpacker. I am mm-hmm. a chronic. <laughs> but they will keep you from overpacking. They don't keep me from doing shit. <laughs> I overpack the e bag, <laughs> and then I'm like, it. "Why is it? Yeah, it's like, and it'll like bulge to fit right. whatever you put in there." And right. I'm like, "Why is it not? Why is it not fitting? I have to sit on there with the hope and a prayer, coaxing the stuff into my oh bag." My word, what are you doing? Um, one of everything. Yep. I one of everything. Yes. Okay. So you guys wanted me to talk about packing tips or like how I pack. Mm-hmm. Now I would love to say, "Oh, I'm a flight attendant, so I know how to pack so great." But right, I really I got. I, that. I was hoping. I was really. That was where I thought this was gonna go. Packing. I tips? knew it wasn't because I've seen her pack before. <laughs> you know what? And I thought about that. For, uh, what, the way I packed on the trip here, I was like, I and I thought this too, and I was like, I'm traumatized because I shouldn't be feeling like this. But I was like, Lexi would be so disappointed in me. <laughs> she would be so disappointed in this bag. But I had stuff to bring back to not only here, stuff right. that I wanted to wear, you know, during our podcast, but I had stuff to bring back to the Bahamas. Mm-hmm. And I'm like... Well, that doesn't kind of count. So you have to give okay. us packing tips for when you are mission-oriented to one location, okay. how, how well you pack. So do you, are you still an overpacker when you have one destination in mind? I, I am not, but I've gone like a complete 180. Uh-huh. I'm not. I okay. listen. Argentina, fuck, I packed so horribly for that trip. I was like, I'm gonna do some shopping there. So right. I even brought a checked bag, which I never do. Right. All we ended up doing was using that shit for dirty clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Your entire checked bag was the a dirty clothes bag. The entire checked bag. I bought um, two or three items. Um, but okay, so when I pack, I try to do a color scheme. Uh-huh. All right, we bought these sandals um, that are aerosol sandals. Mm-hmm. They are, they go with everything. Mm-hmm. They're comfortable as mm-hmm. you could walk around in them. And so I'm like, they're tan. Mm-hmm. Let me bring stuff that goes around tan or that can go with tan in any form. Mm-hmm. Um, a pair of sandals, a pair of sneakers, a pair of like wedges or heels. And then because I get cold and I stay cold, listen, I need a, one pair of like everything, a pair of pants, mm-hmm. a pair of shorts. Mm-hmm. If it's going to be warm, mm-hmm. check the weather. Mm-hmm. A long sleeve, like a sweater to go over or like a coat or something, depending on how I need to layer short mm-hmm. sleeve shirt. Mm-hmm. Um, I bring just like one of everything. So <laughs> I know it sounds I mean, like, like, like one so of my long a sleeve, short, short, short sleeve, shirt. short pants, long pants, right. sneakers, sandals, um, heels for when I want to be cute because I don't want This was all for one trip? How long were you going for? Okay, so all in, travel time included, it was 10 days. Okay. Argentina, I didn't pack like that because I was like, I'm going to go there. Shopping cap, it was like the Paris of South America. That's right? what they say. I've heard. Bueno, gratis. The lies they tell. <laughs> okay, <laughs> listen, their stores are, um, they have like five items in a store, right? Some stores you go into, they have to buzz you in. You mm-hmm. can't just walk in. Mm-hmm. It's not like you go into Old Navy, you're you're going into an H&M. They mm-hmm. have very stylized items. Oh, I love that. And I love that because I don't like to be overwhelmed. Mm-hmm. But when you hadn't packed things because you think you're going to buy <laughs> things. When you think you need everything. Listen, I had to buy um, some shoes because I brought some outfits, but I was like, I need some shoes to go with them. I need some black shoes. And just on that first day, didn't find anything. Um, that packing job was probably the worst I've ever done. Spain, that was my best packing trip. I wore everything I brought. Okay. I brought an extra pair of jeans that I was like, ooh, I'm probably not going to wear these. Mm-hmm. Ended up being cold, colder mm-hmm. than we expected, mm-hmm. Alhambra, and I ended up wearing those jeans. And I wore those jeans like three oh, yeah, or four you more you times. the shirt, the, the skirt freezing. to put the... But I did wear everything that I brought, even if it was like, we're doing this tour in the morning, this tour in the evening. I was like, if I brought it, I want to wear it. And that was a carry-on. And that was a carry-on. And okay. I flew non-rev. And I flew non-rev. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, everything is different. I think when you are shopping on a trip, yeah. For clothes to wear on that specific trip, it is very difficult. Very much so. Stressful. It is stressful because you're trying to find items to match. Because I mean, everyone's not like you. They can't just throw together an outfit. I was like, all the time I'm shopping and I'm like, I need Lexi here. Like, I really need to figure out a pay scale and how to pay her because <laughs> I need my outfits put together and I don't like to Listen, do it. We I don't went like to, to San Francisco 
It was colder than we anticipated, mm-hmm. which seems to be the theme of all of our trips. For um, you. Um, especially right. like especially for me. <laughs> I don't look like an Eskimo. And this girl took this shawl she had brought just to wear the shawl, right? Yeah. It's like a blanket scarf no- from Old Navy. She was like layered it, put a belt over it, paired it with some black leggings. Let she looked like a chic rock star. I was like, what the fuck? Those sc- scarves. I'm over here looking like I'm rolling around. <laughs> scarves are so versatile. So if they you're are. going somewhere that is cooler. This is true. And and they recommend like layering. Scarves are so versatile. And those blanket scarves especially. Like I bought one so from good. Old Navy. Mm-hmm. I use that scarf every time I travel. So something that I bring every time I travel, mm-hmm. that scarf. It's really? a blanket. It is a blanket. It's a scarf. It's a pillow. It could be incorporated into the outfit. It could be left out. And I love me some scarves. So um, <laughs> How many scarves do you bring on a trip? It depends on if it's cold. If it's cold, I try to do like two, maybe three. Um, but like my packing, like it's just, it's evolving. Let's just mm-hmm. say that. I think packing is always a work. Yes. In progress. Well. Unless you're Lexi. I mean, it's <laughs> been a work in progress. Yeah. All right. So you've gone through your packing. Mm-hmm. It's an evolution. It's getting better. Sometimes yeah. it's a win. Sometimes it's not. Mm-hmm. So how do you do hair? Because black women and hair is always a big thing. One of my friends was like, why do black American women always wear braids on vacation? And I'm like, it's the simplest way to make sure your hair looks good. It is the simplest way to make sure your hair looks good to make sure that it is a quick and easy style and you can be on the go and that's not something that you're doing. Right. And that um, it's also versatile. So you can do different styles throughout the day. Mm -hmm. So while you're on tours or while you're on, you can do like a million different styles with braids. It's just, it's versatile. That is my number one hairstyle for vacation. Okay. Braids. What's your second? Locks. Which is almost similar to braids. Which is similar to braids. <laughs> there is going to be twists. Right. What I, is I'm afraid to ask. What's the third? <laughs> um, the third. It depends on where I am. Uh-huh. Um, if it's not a super active vacation, I might do a wig. I might do a wig. My little got to be glued. But I make sure I have my accessories with me. Mm-hmm. Because those can make or break a vacation. Mm-hmm. Um, I e Argentina. You had a hair fail as well? Listen, did I ever. Okay. (laughs) So I wanted to do these um, uh, passion twists. Mm -hmm. They're all the rage now. Like, everybody's Mm -hmm. doing them. Every time I've done passion twists, I've done them by hand, myself, twisting my hair around um, and doing it. And it looked great. It looks, like, truly natural coming from your scalp. It's been great. I've not had a problem. Mm -hmm. This time I decided I wanted to be a little bit lazy and try the Janet Collection Mm -hmm. uh, passion twists. Mm -hmm. Are they like crochet? They're like crochet, yes. So they're already twisted for you. It had the little squiggly end, you know, at the bottom. Like, it was supposed to be great. So I section my hair. I plait it out. I put the um, the crochet hair in, and I got a number four, a number 27, and a number 613. So mm-hmm. that's blonde, like that light, light blonde, like brownish color, mm-hmm. and black. Mm-hmm. I, I figured I would sprinkle it throughout my head. Uh, the way it turned out, first of all, I did too many damn twists. So it was a lot of hair, and I was oh. like, I did this to myself. I was played heavy. myself. It wasn't heavy, but it was too full. Like it was, <laughs> your face gets lost in it. It looked you like see Madag- the lion from Madagascar. It was oh, just too much. Nice. <laughs> That's a look. Too much. So I was like, okay, I have to take some out. I have to make the patches smaller, but I don't have a lot of time because I did my hair the day before vacation, which is like a chronic bad habit for me. <laughs> and I was like, okay, this will work. And then I was like, you know what? I want more six thirteen, more blonde, and more, which is like white and more black. Mm-hmm. No. Uh, there was like still some twenty seven. I just I hated it. I got there and I thought it'll wear mm-hmm. on me, right? You did twenty seven, six, thirteen, and then like one and four, no, and four. four. So mm-hmm. you did like a dark, dark brown, uh-huh. a white blonde, yep. and then like an orangey, ba- yes. brown. Ooh, that. Now I had done solid. that before, though. I had done okay. that before on um, some chunky Havana twists, and it turned out good. However, I like paired those colors up in my head. It worked out. On this one, no. It was a fail. 
it not only did it start looking old, like I had just done it four days in, mm -hmm. I'm taking these twists out on vacation. <laughs> I never would have, I took it out on vacation. We had been going, going, going. Day four, we slept in and we had something at night and I was like, I'm taking this shit out. I can't do it anymore. It, it looks old. Bad. It just, I hated it. Every time I looked at it, I hated it. You don't want to see that on all And your I pictures. didn't want to hate it. But I didn't bring any product. Oh, for my man. natural hair. Uh -huh. So luckily it was stretched already from the braids. Uh -huh. So I kind of had that going until we went to the hot springs. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it puffed right Humidity. up. And the little, like, no, it was cold. It started snowing. So we were in Argentina. We flew to Chile for a day mm -hmm. to go to the hot springs. Uh -huh. And it started snowing. And they're like, do you still want to go? And we're like, yes, we pay for it. So we go. It's snowing. You have to, like, strip down to your bathing suit. Right. It's hot springs. It's snowing. Right. Run to the hot spring. Get in. You know, we were in one that was, like, lukewarm. I was like, you ain't got nothing hotter. <laughs> so she pointed to another one. So we get up and go over to that one. They now, don't give you, like, thick robes? No, you had to bring your own shit. Uh, oh, did you bring your own shit? No. They oh. were running. Because we didn't know that it was that cold. I had to rent boots, snow pants, and a snow jacket. So this is cold. When did you guys go? So we went in October. That's End crazy. of September, October. Oh, because it it's spring. right underneath the, um, the equator. equator. Yeah, yeah well, was... no, it's the opposite side. So they should be going into their spring heading for... Uh-uh. No, oh, fall winter. ahead of the winter. Yeah, it's their winter. No, it, it was coming out of winter. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It was like and the so end of winter. Because like January cold. is probably the best time to go then. And You're they right. were like, we were not expecting it to snow. So we had to rent all that stuff. And I run over to the hot spring. Because I'm like, it's cold. And I'm also wet now. So add right. that layer to it. And I and jump in. And you didn't in. have your lion's mane of hair anymore. It was deeper than I thought it was. Oh, no. <laughs> and so I had braided ah. my hair down. And I had two little puffs here, right? They were fine in the first hot spring. The second one, it was deeper. They got wet. So uh -huh. I don't have hot spring water in my hair. And <laughs> I had to wash it out with lemongrass um, shampoo. Uh. Not the most Hotel ideal. Shampoo. Hotel shampoo. And you know, their conditioners the are never big enough. They're never they're, large enough. No, not for not for natural hair. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I had and to go find a uh, gel. I had to I had to buy a rat tail comb. I had to buy everything. Everything. Because I didn't bring anything. Because why would I? I already did my hair in crochets. Yeah. So that that hair vacation was just like but that just was went like, to shit. That was like me in um Barcelona when I'm trying to find Ooh, that was I thought about you. you too. God, that was such a hair. I thought though. about you too. It was horrible. I couldn't even bring you can't even bring enough conditioner just to condition your No own. one's gonna call her on her telling you that your hair was horrible, that entire experience. I said you. my experience <laughs> was oh. horrible. Not okay. her hair was horrible. I'm not rude like you. Rude. I just wanna make sure that if Shoot. someone says something rude it does get called out since No, I guess I know that you want but I I'm not rude. I've already explained that I'm the nicest. Yeah, of I the thought three. about you and it was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you want to spin it like that, that's how I heard fake it. Fake news. <laughs> <laughs> so, when you are packing hair products, how do you normally carry? So, do you wait? Do you vacation typically with your natural hair? Um, I have actually. When I went back and looked at photos, I've only done it stateside. So, I have mm. done it. Yes, because at least you can find some creamy conditioner. Because mm. I because I pack for it. So if I know I'm going to be wearing my natural hair, I will try to fit as much as I can in the little three ounce containers. Um, if not, it's like, okay, we're in the States. I'm at a hotel. I'll just run to Walgreens and buy something real quick. Um, I make it a point to do that right when we land and we get there because so, this has good stuff. They have like main choice right. and like kinky curly at Walgreens. Yeah. Walgreens be killing it. Walgreens is my shit. CVS can... <laughs> <laughs> they I all have not checked markets. So you wait. How did you find your hair products in Argentina? Did it actually work well for you? Um, it was a hope and a prayer, and we found one gel. Um, no cream, no oils, no nothing. It was just that gel. And so, because when I put my hair in a protective style, I oiled the shit out of it. Like my hair is nurtured before it goes into a protective style. So then, when I take it out three weeks to a month later, mm -hmm. it's still. It's still like um, moisturized. It used to have like that oil. It is still cared for. My lock method is on point. Mm -hmm. So I had that going for me. So then it was just a matter of, okay, I can use the gel, but don't use too much because you don't want to dry your hair out. Mm -hmm. um, and I did keep my hair braided down a lot of the time. So three years ago, I taught myself to cornrow. 
Okay. Ooh, and um, come in handy ever since. <laughs> it's, yes, because you know you do your two little you know braids, do your little baby hairs, and boom, like you're good to go. So I, I made it work on a hope and a prayer, but my God, that is not what I wanted to do. And if I had thought for a second that I would continue to hate that hair, I would have packed some extra stuff because we checked the bag that I didn't need. <laughs> right. Is this why we've seen no pictures? Um, I just haven't posted them. I've been lazy. I'm I'm bad about posting my pictures, especially since Facebook doesn't like to respect its um user data, et cetera. What about oh. Instagram? Well, don't you have a Facebook. whole Instagram YouTube page for your hair? I do. So it's Hair Me Roar. Mm -hmm. Um, because and you inspired me to start the story because I have had so many horrible hair stories, <laughs> so many horrible hair experiences that I feel like one person should not have to endure. <laughs> but it's like every time I went and got my hair done, they fucked me over. It was just like, how dare you all? Um, so I started learning how to do my hair myself. Mm -hmm. And you were like, chronicle your hair stories. Mm -hmm. And so I started Hair Me Roar. Um, and I've been doing it ever since. I do have an um, Instagram page mm -hmm. and a Facebook page. You know, I know I talk about them, but... <laughs> I was like, you have an I, Instagram, well, but you, do you post to it? Because what's the point of having it if you're not posting? I, I post some stuff. Because, like, the people that I'm like, you know, I'll show you the pictures, but I don't want to post. People be nosy. They be looking. They don't need to see, like, all this in my life. You know what I mean? Um, I just haven't posted Argentina and um, a couple previous vacations because I, I just <laughs> the last like, seven places I right in didn't make. I'm the page. trying to remember the last thing I've seen on there. I no, I, I, I posted some stuff picture. like Bahamas, yeah. You no, know? but for Hair Me Roar specifically, did you did you uh, record the passion twist? And then I did you record sure did. It out? Yes, I, it is in <laughs> the editing stages now. Okay, so and it, is it will be posting. Yes, um, now, did because you record it when it was in so that we get to see how those colors look together because I'm really curious. Yes. Fucking horrible. So there were three singular colors that you just three, put together? Three, yes. I, I, mean, I could have looked good if she had layered it. It, it yeah, could have it. looked good <laughs> made it if I had done two instead of the three. Yeah. But I had done something sort of similar with a previous style and it worked out. So that's why I thought. But I had already bought it and I didn't have enough of two singular colors to make it work. Or so yeah. I thought. I messed up. So on your podcast, or yes. not podcast, what is it? Your YouTube channel. My what YouTube do we? Channel. What What do you like normally? Okay, so a lot of people have their like hair gurus. Mm -hmm. They'll teach you how to do a style. They're mm -hmm. like come up with styles on their own. Mm -hmm. Mine is like a trial and error. It's like seriously, <laughs> when I tell people my stories, they're right. like that couldn't have been. No, really, it is. <laughs> Look at Exhibit A, the footage. <laughs> exhibit B, the footage. Like it is all on there. So I just tape myself. Like uh, I've looked up the style. All I right. feel like I can do the style. Let me do the style and let me film it for you guys and show you how to do it. So I've done things from mm -hmm. um, cornrowing my hair. Mm -hmm. I've done things from doing like the individual braids, doing the locks, doing um, the uh, big Havana twist to coloring my uh, lace front wigs. Mm -hmm. Which, oh man, so that stresses me out. <laughs> but I figured out how to like, you know, when you get a synthetic wig, um, you can't bleach the knots. No. Tried to do that. That's on my channel too. Um, <laughs> but I figured out how to get like, you know, Sally Hansen and, and put it on there and, you know, show people how that stays. And then I got questions. Does it stay? Does it stick past like washing? What if you sweat? Um, so I did a follow-up video on that with this short bob wig that I bought. Mm -hmm. um, and it does stay because I was in Florida and I sweat a lot. Um, hyperhidrosis, it's a thing. And <laughs> so with that, I was like, this Sally Hansen does stay. So mm -hmm. I, Sally Hansen what? Um, Sally Hansen, like you have the spray, the tan. That the okay, tan I was going to ask because some people said the, like the lotion. Yeah, it's the or, bronzing, yes. like the suntan. Oh, yes. Yeah, I bought those when I was in Japan because I thought I'm giving up on wearing tights. I'm going to get these spray legs. I left color oh. everywhere. everywhere. Everywhere I sat. I do say it's right. You have it, to stand in a shower. On the no, I mean like I would sit down on someone's couch and I get up and you'd see little leg leg marks. I would be livid if somebody came and sat on my. I would just pretend that I wasn't there and walk right out. And <laughs> right. Back. A Apparently, your color stayed and the pale ass legs just left. I'd fight. <laughs> I'd fight you. <laughs> well, don't get some shit. People can ruin. 
Don't come to my house if you don't know you're leaking. Don't invite to your house. How was I supposed to know you were leaking? How was I supposed to know you were going to hate them for it? How was I supposed to know that your this color is was... friendship ends. Right? <laughs> Friendships Expeditiously. are over. <laughs> Done. Take your legs with you. Yeah, Leave so you can find friends. all of that stuff on Hair Me Roar. Um, it is... I've had Lexi on there where she had to thin out that mane of hair that I had. Um, so big hair is a big theme for you, though. I love Do you remember hair. the single East twist that she said made her look like she was predator? <laughs> I do remember. And oh, it wasn't. The, this wasn't something I did. This is something this other girl did. And I went back and I told the woman that referred me to her. I was like, do not. Because this is your But they're big, chunky twists. They look cute on you. You just didn't she, like the way they were. They were She cool. put eight <laughs> packs of hair in the back of my head. The, right here, okay? This is not to include the part that's supposed to be smaller. You can make these bigger. You can't. She ran out of hair. I had to go up there with a bald fucking top and like <laughs> and big ass <laughs> twists and go get some more hair. And then she still didn't make it work. How many Oldest. packs did you have? Oh, I yeah. had eleven packs of hair in that my is so head. intense. You didn't think that she should look at what it might look at with eight packs? How dare you? <laughs> I was just wondering. Just, she should know. Hair. She was the fucking professional. If I had done that myself, it would have been different. But she should have known better. Like heavy? You know what? It I'm not even heavy. gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not Legit gonna. Legit at six packs, you should be good. Like eight packs if you're doing real full. But exactly. when you had to go buy more, I would no, be like, hey, you gotta start taking stuff out. Yeah, I will actually. say I got my hair braided once because um, I don't do my own hair. But I got my hair braided and I did the twist, like the rope twist, with the wrong type of hair. I didn't get that. Ooh. You know the light hair lighter hair it's like, like the, the marley, marley hair. hair yeah i let them do it with like a conaculon hair Ooh, no and i wanted them really long that's not gonna hold it was ever. so heavy It'll i would sit right down what well, held yeah because but i would like oh, lift up hold? the braids i would just lift up the twist and hold but them see, up they here. won't hold if you get in water and i know that from portland oregon i feel like i could barely like my neck was so sore that's how i felt in barcelona though I was like, I don't know why I thought like braids all the way down to my calves was going to be such a fun idea. And then suddenly you're in the bathroom and you realize you can't squat down without your hair dragging on the floor. <laughs> so I was wrapping it around me like a she necklace. What was, the, what was the song that she, what was her theme song? Uh, braids. Get yeah. braids in a flow. Get braids in a flow. Yeah, that's Lexi's song. Every time I hear it, I think of Lexi. In Barcelona. Yeah. yeah. I see a neck pain. You know what the best feeling is? Like when you actually take out your hair, it's just yours and you go to sleep and you realize that you can move any way oh in gosh. bed and you have it's nothing so holding you back. So freeing. Oh, it's and then so you go good. and burden yourself again. Yep. Put it right back in. Mm -hmm. I mean, I love my hair. It's just a lot of work to maintain on a daily basis. Especially on a vacation because um, Barcelona was the hair fail. Lot Barcelona, of it, like Barcelona, we were on the move so much that it's like you need to have a I thought y'all was like Missy over here acting like it's amateur hour, not putting in a protective style. Missy's we over already... here undying some new hair I just <laughs> exactly. bought. Exactly, we already know. I was like, I, I love came purple with braids. everywhere. I had purple every. Well, I thought that the clip in extensions mm -hmm. were gonna look nice. What I well, didn't know was that I was gonna look like I had a whole fucking mullet. <laughs> And like just <laughs> this weird hair just sticking you out. Never, okay, so I hated this is those what pictures. I learned. And and this like what I knew, but like also what I learned. Mom told me this. Sam told me this. Never try a new <laughs> hairstyle when you're going on vacation. Do what you know. I Ooh, thought do what it works. would work. I, you know, yeah, in, in hindsight, I should have just but got it so. Did you do it though? But had you done it before though? That is no. true. That's right. No, never, I was really optimistic with this. Never I thought I was, try. No. Nope, and then you know the it. next fail that happened for me? What? I knew that it might not work out, and I was supposed to order a wig. You and I, sent us the wigs, and then you never And then why? I didn't purchase yes. it. What happened? Like, what was the breakdown there? I live overseas, mm -hmm. and I have really short windows to order. Yes. And when I, I didn't order the wig in time, so then I was like, ah, oh, fuck. So you then I got, shipped it to me. You shipped the, uh, the extensions to me. Right. Well, that's because, listen, I forget how fast mail comes in America. Uh, and mm -hmm. every time I think of something to purchase, yeah. I'm just like, it's going to take another three weeks. Yes. I can. Um, so I get, I get you. I get yeah. You. It's like you order something I and then you. you get the delivery notification. 
Oh, it delivered. Why am I on a fucking plane? Take it back. That did right. happen to me. Shopping for Barcelona. Half of my stuff <laughs> got there the That's day right. after. That's right. Which, I mean, I had too much stuff anyway, but the last minute, I'm on my lunch break trying to go shopping to buy these items that I didn't get. Right. And shopping on a time constraint is yeah. so stressful. It is so stressful. I would much rather buy more than I need and take some stuff back or even just keep it for later use That's than funny. to try to... That's what I did. I bought more than I needed. And I'm like, this is going to be great. I'm going to pick out what works. I'm going to try it all on. And then it's supposed to get there in time. And then they're like, no, it's we're leaving on the 29th. Your stuff's going to get there on the 30th. I was like, that's helpful. Yeah. So thanks for that. That's right. like, like one company I know that I shall not name. I've had good experiences with this company. Garbage. But what I will say. They have really nice jeans, though. Yeah. <laughs> the dough is rising. <laughs> Like certain people, when you have when you have like some thighs, when you got thigh meat, when you got hip meat, when you got butt meat, okay. Listen, well, is I that need... their problem? Is that your problem? Because you have to read all the descriptions. First of all, the material. How dare you? You have to read the material. I read the material. Did it say two percent spandex? I don't know. I don't. Did it say any kind of not stretch spandex? Did it say just I'm polyester? I don't know. When you ordered these? Did it say that? I actually do usually read the percentages because anything under 4% is I not worth it. I have to, and I learned that with um, with another company that shall not be named either, and, like, some stuff I got was garbage, but... <laughs> but you have just general shopping issues. This is and I'm gonna I say, I wish, see. I want to say this for Fashion Nova. Fashion Nova, why are I you listing no sizes in 7, 9, and 11 when grown women shop on your website? That is true. Those are junior like, sizes. Like, what size right. is a 7, 9, or 11? And most but of your jeans not come all in the that. same size. 7. You order a 7 in this, but you have to order a 9 Which in Which is this. why you have these pants, because I ordered, like, a 11 or a 9 or something. Rising. Listen, just stick to 29, 30s, 31s. Those are just general sizes Or at that least recognize. your basic actual women's sizes. Odd sizes are for children. Those are teens. Yeah. Yeah. Asian sizes are women's yeah so right. the fact that they're selling 7 9 and 11 tells us that we have aged out of them yeah no they gotta love spandex though you gotta you gotta give it to them for their high-waisted you give spandex that's true. jeans yeah because those high-waisted have... jeans are the business but those high-waisted jeans you need a, a they belt. are but yeah. i mean shopping so is shopping belt? it is great we'll just learn <laughs> to look better when we're buying stuff absolutely yeah but I don't know. It's been lovely having you on here and chatting with you. Oh, well, thanks. I'm so glad to find you. Check invited. her podcast or her YouTube channel. Hair Me Roar. H-A-I-R Me Roar. Roar. Because I got stories, y'all. R-O-R. She said, Roar. Roar.